what is refs in react in typical react data flow props are the only way that parent component can interact with their child component to modify a child you re-render it with new props however there are a few cases where you need to modify a child outside of the typical data flow for these cases react provides a ref let's see what problem it can fix the problem is to reference a DOM element without re-rendering the whole component or without using a props or a states. For the solution, ref provides a way to access DOM nodes or react elements which is created in the render method. So how we can create and access refs? This is the syntax to create a ref. It is created using a react.create ref and attach to react elements via the ref attribute. It should be created inside the constructor in the class component as is shown here. Let's create a separate folder and in this folder create a new file let's say refdemo.js. Here I am creating a class component using a react snippets by just writing rcc. Write this is ref. Let's import it in the app.js file. And it's working. Let's create a ref, but first create a constructor by just writing rconst. Write this dot ref name here. It's a input ref, which is equals react dot create ref. Now we have created our ref. Let's create one input field here and pass our ref. We can pass ref in the ref attribute. First, let's see how our ref looks like. For that, in the component did mount lifecycle method, let's log this this dot input ref, save it and let's check this. As you can see in the console, we have one object with the key current. And inside this object, there are lots of methods available to manipulate the input field. Let us try one method. I'm writing this dot input ref dot current dot focus method. So whenever we refresh our component, the input field will be focused. And as you can see, it's working fine. Let's try to get class name of input field. First, define a class name. Let's say XYZ. log class name by using this dot put ref dot current dot class name and it's working fine let's add a placeholder value just like this It's working great. Now to get the value of input field, create a one button. And on click method, let's create a one method. Let's name it uh, on submit. I'm creating using arrow syntax. Just log this dot input ref dot current dot value and save it. And it is showing the value. 
this is how you can get the value of input field using refs. Now let's see when to use ref. First, managing focus, text selection or media playback. Second is to trigger imperative animations. And to integrating with the third party DOM libraries. Avoid using refs for anything that can be done declaratively and don't overuse it. Remember, you may not use the ref attribute on a function components because they don't have any instances. In the next video, we will learn more about the forwarding refs. Stay tuned.